Hello and welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Liz Mosley and I am a graphic designer based in the UK and I specialize in branding design and I'm really excited to be here this week for this Adobe Express Bootcamp. Um, hopefully you caught Andrew yesterday giving you an intro to Adobe Express and I am here today to look at how you can use your brand in Adobe Express. Now, if you want to take part in the creative challenge, you can head to behance.net forward slash challenge forward slash express. Um, let me just show you around. This is what you should see. And you'll see here we've got yesterday's stream, which was Adobe Express Basics. And now up here, we've got using your brand in Adobe Express. And you can click on this button here, which says get started. And it's going to give you access to a template that I have created for you uh, that you will be able to apply your brand to after we have finished this stream. But we're going to have a look at it at the end, because first I'm going to set show you how you can set up your brand um, in Adobe Express. So yeah, let's hop over. Um, nice to see lots of people joining me in the chat. Um, and you'll find the link the chat as well with the link to my template um, so that should all be there for you and feel free to pop in any questions as we go along and I'll do my best to answer them so let's head over to Adobe Express and before we get started setting up our brands I just wanted to have a little think about why you're branding and I've just seen here that I've spelled branding wrong so let's just add that r in why your branding is important for, um, and I spell important wrong, important for your business. So there's a few different things that I want to mention. So first of all, it builds trust. So we want people to trust our businesses and the more they see our brand, then the more that trust is built. And next up, it helps us to have authentic positioning. So we want to present our brands as accurately as possible. So whether we are a freelancer or a bigger business, uh, we want people's uh, experience of our business to be reflected in our branding. Next up, we want to stand out. So we want to make sure that our uh, brand is distinctive compared to our competitors and the other people that we are um, going up against for work. And we also want our brand to be memorable so that people remember us. And when they see content that we have created, they know that it is from our brand. Now, Adobe Express is such a brilliant tool for making sure that our branding is consistent and making sure that we achieve all of these things that I've just mentioned. So we're going to be having a look at how we can set up our brand kit in Adobe Express um, so that you can save yourself tons of time, that you can be really consistent with your branding and also have fun playing around with some of the templates in Adobe Express because there's loads of professionally designed templates which are absolutely amazing to use. So let's head back to the homepage and we are going to be hanging out in this section over here on the left where it says brands. So let's get started. Now you'll see I've got some other brands already loaded up in here and what's really nice about this is that you can have as you can see, lots of different brands, whether it's um, maybe different brands for you and your business, or if you're a designer like me, you might create brands for your client in this section um, and you can share them with your client, which is awesome. Uh, and that is going to help them use the beautiful branding that you've created for them really consistently as well. So you'll see here that these are my brands and there's also a tab which has got brands which are shared with you. So if someone else created a brand for me and shared it with me, it's gonna appear under that tab there. So let's get started creating our brand. So we're just gonna click on the button and it's going to give us an option to upload our logo. Um, and basically, you, we're just going to work through these steps over here on the left, which is nice and easy. And what I really love about this process is that it starts to show you examples of how it's going to look over here on the right. So right before your eyes, you can see your branding come together. Um, so you can upload a JPEG or a PNG. So let's go ahead and do that. And on my desktop, I have got... 
um, a logo for a fake social media company. Um, so I've just loaded that in. Um, I loaded it in as a PNG, but you can also upload JPEGs, as I mentioned. And you'll see that it's put it on all these examples over on the right hand side. Um, so we're starting to see it come together. Next up, we are going to pick our color. Now here you can put in the hex code. So assuming that you've created the branding yourself or a designer's created it for you, um, hopefully you'd have the hex codes for all your brand colors. Um, but helpfully it selected the color from my logo. So I'm just gonna click on that for now. And you'll see again, it's populating these examples over on the right hand side. And then next up, we are going to choose our font. Um, so you can either add your own font. So maybe you have bought something that looks really cool for your brand. You can add it in here or you can select one of these um, that Adobe um, offer you. Um, you can we can go in and change these after. But I'm just going to click uh, PT Sounds Narrow Bold for now. Um, and again, you'll see it's updated all of my examples over on the right hand side, which is awesome. Um, so that was really quick. You'll see that in like two minutes and I could have done it faster. We've set up our brand. So let's click on next and it's going to prompt us to save it. So I'm going to save it social power and click create my brand. So it's putting it all together for me. Oh, no, it's not. Let's quickly choose our font again and see if it'll save it for me. Hang tight. It's coming. It's, yes, here we go. Okay, perfect. So this is our brand kit. Now we've just put in the basics for now. So let's flesh it out a little bit more. Um, let me just have, if you see me looking over here, I'm just checking out what everyone's saying in the chat. So nice to see so many of you with me. Okay, perfect. Right, so what we're gonna do is add some more versions of the logo, because usually you'll have your logo in different colors. You might have um, different lockups. So let's add a few more. So I've got a pink version going to add that in. I've got a white version and I've got a black version. So we'll get all those in there. And this is just going to make our lives so much easier down the line um, because everything is going to be easy to find and in one place. So once you've done that, you can just click on that X. Um, and now we're going to add some more colors. So I'm going to add a black, a white, and then we'll add our pink color, uh, which I have the hex code for here. So let's just get that in. So you can update all of this with your brand information. And I think the brand kit is honestly one of my favorite features in Adobe Express. I mean, I would say that as a branding designer, but I find it saves me so much time and I've set them up for my brand, for my podcast. Uh, and like I said, for my clients. So back over here, we've got our fonts and we can just click on the button here and we can adjust these. So I'm going to stick with my PT Sans Narrow Bold up there for my headline. Um, I'm going to choose something like, let's go with Leto for our body copy. But as I mentioned before, you can upload um, other fonts. It also gives you suggested font pairings, which is really nice if you need some suggestions for what to go with. Um, and yeah, now that is all looking pretty good. But if we scroll down, you are going to see that we have different themes. So we've got a light theme, a medium theme and a dark theme. And you'll see here that these, this is sort of our templates for pages because you can make web pages in Adobe Express. And this, these are the examples for video. So I'm just going to pop into one of these and just show you how if you spend a little bit of extra time getting all of this set up, then again, it's going to save you time down the line and it's going to help you be really consistent with your brand. So let's just click on this light version and it's going to load up a dummy web page for us. So this is all just samples, but you'll see that you can go through and you can customize um, headings, 
um, buttons. So let's click on the button, for example, and I always prefer a pill button. So I'm going to go for that. Um, I actually want the background for these buttons to be pink. So you'll see it's automatically bringing up my brand colors for me. Um, you can change the styling of your quote. So let's say go with that, but I want that to be pink as well. You can change your text link, um, how, you know, you've got all these different options, how text appears over an image. So let's change that. And you can just put in a bit of time now, get this all customized how you want it to be. And then um, you can, it'll automatically apply when you start a web, web project or a page um, down the line. So nice and easy to do, as you'll see. So we'll just click on done for that. And that will save that. So you can, I'm not going to do it now, but you can do that for all of these different versions. The This is just a duplication over here. Um, you've just got these three options. And then again, with video, we can go in and we can adjust how some of the video properties are going to look if we are editing in Adobe Express. So it will have set it up for us already, um, but you'll see that there's different changes that we can make. So maybe I want to make the secondary color the pink. And you'll see again that it's bringing up my um, brand colors for me. Um, you can scroll through these different pages and you can make changes. So for example, on this page, let's change how the captions look. So maybe I want to make the background for those black. Maybe I'll make the text color green. Let's see. Actually, no, I'm happy with how that looks. So we'll stick with that. So that's how our captions could look. Um, you'll see how the icons are going to come in and yeah, so it's given us a whole bunch of like templated pages, um, or templated slides for our videos, which is great. So let's press done again. And like I said, you can have these three different variations. So the light, medium and dark, and you can also personalize how your logo and tagline are going to be displayed on your header footer on your um, like posts. So we're gonna go and play with some templates in a minute. Um, so let's just edit these. So it automatically appears in this bottom right-hand corner, but I'm gonna change it because I want it to be the pink version. And then on our, say a stamp on our video, it's put, it's defaulted with like the, just the text version, but I'm gonna change it to the green. So I'm just getting this all set up, which is great. So my brand kit is done and ready um so now if we if i wanted to say i was working with a team i could invite them to have access to this brand so that they can use it as well which is really helpful but i'm just going to head back to my brand section and you'll see down here is the brand that i've just made and if I click on these three dots, I'm going to make this my default brand because I want it to be the one that, as it says, Adobe D Express defaults to when I'm like using templates and stuff. So now we've got that all set up. Let's go and have a play around with some of the templates. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see um, some templates suggested to you. So seasonal highlights. Um, and the reason that I love using templates, I so I use them for my business just to get ideas. Um, but I also create my own templates for clients, which is going to be covered later this week, making your own templates. But it's just, you know, as... Um, yeah, creative professionals or as people exploring Adobe Express who enjoy social media, um, you will know how important creating content is, how important being consistent with your content is. Um, and so we can just find all these brilliant professional templates that we can use just to save us a bit of time so we aren't starting from scratch. So let's take this one, for example. We're going to start from this. Um, now, if you aren't familiar with Adobe Express, you'll notice that some of the templates have got a little crown on them. You'll see it over here. Um, that means it's available in the premium version, but there's still loads of templates that are available in the free version as well, which is awesome. So what we're going to do now is take this template and we want to add our brand. So if I click on design over here, you will see that there's an apply brand button. And this is literally like, I think it's magic. It's amazing. So if we click on this button, the fonts, the colors, and the logo that I have uploaded to my brand kit are going to be applied to this really quickly. Now, 
obviously the background is an image so that's uh, say like stayed the same uh, so that's not very on brand for me but we'll change that in a minute now I don't love the colors that it's selected here so you'll see here there's a shuffle button and I can just rotate through um, shuffling through the colors of my brand until I find one that I like so this one I'm pretty happy with now, if you have multiple brands that you are using, you'll remember that we saved that brand as our default brand. But if you need to toggle between brands, then you can do that really easily up here. So you can just switch over to another brand um, if you, say, forgot to save um, this as your default brand. No problem. But let's just have a little play around. So I, my, um, the branding's got this pink and this sort of like, I don't know what you'd call it, like minty color, um, but it's got monochrome in it as well. So I'm going to head over to backgrounds and I'm going to find a fun uh, monochrome background that I can add. And so I actually think these are really fun. Ooh, also these light ones are really nice. So uh, there's love for the uh, templates in Adobe Express. They are so good. And they like there are just so many to choose from, which is awesome. So let us go with one of these. Now you'll see there's, um, I can replace the background, um, but I could also add it as an image if I don't want it to be sort of like locked into the back, but I'm gonna replace it for this. Um, and you'll see immediately it's updated it and it started to look more on brand. Let's see if I can find something that's a little bit more exciting. Ooh, these ones, I'm just gonna try that one. Nice. So that is looking really good. But what I've noticed here is that maybe the logo isn't looking as good in that position. So although it automatically appears there, I can easily adjust it if I need to, or I might decide that I want it in the middle. Um, but then looking at that, I might think, oh, the pink isn't popping out enough on the sort of whiter element of the background. And you'll see over here that there's a replace button and it's immediately going to bring up my logos from my brand kit and then I can just hit on the one that I want so I'm going to go for the black version here uh, just so that it is a bit more legible so you can see how it's all coming together and we have immediately created ourselves a really on-brand template that we can use on social media so let's go and have an explore of some more um, templates so sometimes I like to search up here. You can see some things that I've been searching for in the past. So since this is a fictional social media company, let's have a little look at what sort of social media posts we can find. And um, we can have some fun playing around with some of these templates and see which ones might work well. This one's fun over here. Um, it all kind of depends on what you want to do, um, who you're trying to talk to, like where you're posting. So you'll find the sizes for all different um, platforms, which is great. Um, let's see. I think this one is quite fun. Or let's try where did I saw Let's try this one. This is cool. So again, we're just going to head over to design and we're going to click on apply brand and it's going to update it. But yeah, not feeling those colors. So I'm going to do a little bit of shuffling and see what comes in. That's working a little bit better. You'll see this time is um, put the logo in the top right hand corner. Um, but I'm going to just change a few of these elements, but you'll just see how quick it is to update these social media templates and get them on brand just with a few little tweaks. I'm going to delete that. Um, I'm going to make the background black so you can you can adjust things however you want. You can do it, do bits of it manually, do bits of it with a button. Everything's still editable. Um, and oh. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to update this star, get that minty color in there. Actually, that is the mint color that I'm looking for. I'm going to change these social media circles. Let's see if I can just get those. Oh, I'll leave those for now. But you can, yeah, you can update all of those elements. I'm going to get rid of that. 
And then if you are wanting to um, pop in a photo of you, you can really easily replace that. So say, um, I'm not going to cover libraries much because I know that's coming up later this week as well. But if I find my personal library, then I can quickly find a picture of me, which is going to get replaced into there. And so you'll see that once you, all your assets are saved in place, it is so nice and quick to get everything updated. Um, now that I've changed the photo, I might change this to the white logo. Um, so yeah, really fun. Now, let me just show you. So I mentioned before about the creative challenge and I have created a template for you that you can remix. So as I mentioned before, if you head to this page, which I know the link was shared in the chat and you click on get started, um, it's going to bring up the template that I designed for you. And you can just click on this button and click remix design. I'm going to go and pull it up from my project panel. Um, and I am going to add my assets. Now I'm not going to remix this one because I've done it in my fictional branding already, but if you get this template and you click apply brand, once you have set up your brand kit, then it's going to adjust all of the elements as I've been showing you with the various templates. The only thing it's not going to do is uh, change the background. So if your brand doesn't need a monochrome background, you might want to uh, switch that out for something that's more appropriate. But what I want to do now is add my logo to here. So if you're not pressing the apply brand button, you can just head to logos. And because my brand kit is set as default, I can find my logo from here and I can just bring it into this spot. And this is like a really fun story template that you can adjust. Um, it's going to change the fonts to your brand fonts. You can switch out the picture again. So the idea for this template is that you can introduce yourself on your Instagram story. So let's replace this one out again. If you don't have a picture of you that you want to use, um, you can access all the like Adobe stock images. So you might want to have something related to your business. So I could search for phone, say, and see if I can find someone scrolling their phone switch that out in there. Um, you can put in your name or the name of your business and your website here. And immediately you have got a post that you can really quickly, ooh, um, you can really quickly share on your social media and introduce people to your brand. Um, so yeah, the, the link to that is in the chat as well. So I hope you have fun creating from that. Um, the other thing that you might want to do um, when you've created that is because you're working with a team. Let me just update this picture again. I'm going to let's put a picture of me in. Oh, let's see. Let's just replace and go to libraries. So I'm going to put my name in here. Um, now you might decide, oh, I like this intro post. Um, I've remixed this uh, template that Liz has made, but actually I want to share it in other places as well. So you can just duplicate this page um, and head over to the right hand side, side and resize. Um, so you might think, OK, I've shared this on the grid, but actually I think I want to share it on Instagram. On, like, I'm sorry, I've shared this on stories, but you might want to share it on the grid as well. So let's just click on that and it's going to resize it for me. And it's done a, a pretty good job of moving everything around, but you might just find that you want to tweak things slightly just to get them in position. But within minutes, you can repurpose this content. Oh, this has got a shape in the background. Um, perfect. If you want to adjust any of these elements, you can do that on this panel over on the right hand side. So you can change the shape. There's lots of fun shapes that you can have behind the text. Um, you can change the font, all of that kind of thing. Um, so very quickly, we have got like multiple posts to introduce uh introduce your business, my business. Um, and then if we just zoom out here you'll see that we can see all the various uh, posts uh, that we've created in this one project. So yeah, we've got a couple of minutes. So if you've got any questions in the chat, let me know. But hopefully 
uh, that has shown you how you can really quickly and easily set up your brand kit and then use all of the amazing templates in Adobe Express. And one last thing that I want to show you, say you've got an image like this, this image of me isn't that on brand for this business, uh, this fake business that I've created. So what I'm going to do is just head over to filters and I'm going to add a duotone and I'm going to use my brand colors. So I am going to um, put in a black and we'll put in the mint green and then you'll see that it's just helped bring everything even more on brand. And in every sort of part that you're using Adobe Express where you can adjust things to your brand. Um, because you've set your brand as default, then you'll see it comes up. So it's the same with your text as well. If I go here and scroll up to the top, it saved my brand fonts right at the top um, so that I can find them really easily. So it's gonna save you loads of time. So thank you so much for joining me. It's been really fun to be here with you guys. Come back tomorrow, um, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. UK time, and Hadrian's going to be here, and he is going to be showing you how you can schedule posts. Um, it's going to be a fun week. We've also got Annika, and we've got Claudi. Um, so yeah, lots of amazing content to get you using Adobe Express as effectively as possible for your brand or your creative projects. And I'll see you all soon.